Now the true honor, so let's get it, yeah, let's see what we can uncover. Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to another Persona 4 Golden. Now, I continued this from the last episode because these scenes were going to take too long. And I was already peaking to 57 minutes on the last one, so... Let's just continue from here and make another episode, I thought. We're back! Ugh, I'm so tired. Where'd you guys go? Over to Juness. We had to go get some paint and cloth. Oh, for the decorations? Thank you. Did you have them write you an invoice? Yeah, I think they understood what it what it was for, so they wrote it without us having to ask. There's some things I want to go over about the day of the event. Is this about the group day cafe? Yes, since Yosuke is leading the executive committee. Wait, what? It was your proposal, right? Are you serious? We all have to do... Th all well, all you have to do is the reception. After people sign in and have a few guys and girls sit facing each other at a table, conduct a short session first where they ask each other questions. After about half an hour of that, it'll be confession time. Get them to select a number of the person they like. If the other person accepts, that makes them a couple. Hey, Yosuke, you listening? <sighs> yeah, I hear ya. <laughs> well, that scared me. Hey, if we roll up this bit of cloth, wouldn't it be kind of like a ball? Yeah, okay, I'll be the catcher. Why the catcher? Hey, Yosuke, wanna be the batter? <sighs> nah, I don't give a damn anymore, I'm in. Watch me slam that ball right back in your face. Hey, you guys better get serious about this. The group date cafe that your class will be running at the culture festival is getting underway. Uh, I'm still not sure about this whole group date cafe they've been doing. So you're home. Let's hope this had a, this little break gave my um, uh, phone a chance to stop being such a dickhead, so I can go back to the date I was currently on, which is 10:27. God damn it! It's still doing the same thing. How the hell am I supposed to read this fucking shit? Come on, go back up. We need 1027. Storyline. Enter the pageant, damn it. Why? I don't need expression anymore for that. Feed Akihiko breadcrumbs. Well, that's what we're always doing, though. Go outside. Shh. All right, let's see, um... Akihiko, yeah. Wow, are we really maxing out Devil now? That's amazing if we could do that. All right, let's just give Akihiko more Yasuo Locusts and... Talk, blah de blah de blah Yasuo Locust, Akihiko likes it, we get breadcrumbs, and we leave. So it says it should be done now, basically. According to what it's saying. Alright, this will be the end of that. Oh good god! Okay, we decided not to notice. And these points don't matter at this point since we've got everything but one. Inaba Municipal Hospital. Empty hospital room. Sayoko asked you to come here. I'm sorry. You're already done with your work today, aren't you? I wanted to say goodbye. Uh, goodbye? I'm leaving this hospital today. Sayoko looks straight in your eyes. 
Oh, geez, she's leaving? I grew to hate hospitals. All the life and death. In the end, everyone leaves, leaving me behind. I was lonely. Then I remembered. I remembered that I wanted to help. I became a nurse because I wanted to save people's lives. I couldn't see that it was as simple as that. No, I probably didn't want to see it. Sayoko smiles gently. And to think that the one thing... And to think the one who could... Sorry, and to think the one who would show me that is some kid with a rag in his hand. I tend to go for older rich men and I landed a child. <laughs> Not really your husband, lady, so... So I'm going. I'm going to find that path I gave up on. I thought I couldn't do it, but I will walk that road. I'm going to be... I'm going to be my own guide, thinking, walking, and take responsibility for myself. Once I've done all that, I think I can finally say what I've tr that I've truly lived. Will you take this? Thanks. I give you the person. I give you the person I was when I was here. I mean, yeah, you kind of came on strong too, like. You were, like, you were really desperate. Alright, we can create Beazle Bubba, the ultimate form of the Devil Arcana. Alright, that's done. We got another link back. So that's six now, right? That's pretty good. Six of ten, at least. I'm gonna say this. It's as much to myself as it is to you. What's right? What you should choose to do in life? The answers to those things lie within you. So long. I mean, I guess. Seiko left, never looking back. You decided to go home. You earned 6,500 yen from your work at the hospital. Do not claw the window. Oh, looks like we got another scene for today. 1028 storyline. It's still being a freaking idiot. You can see the headline in the large letters on the bulletin board. The Miss Yasogami High Pageant. It seems that a cross-dressing pageant is also going to be held at the Culture Festival. Hey, it's Yosuke. We're expecting great things from you. <laughs> They're doing the cross-dressing pageant again this year. Man, they never learn, do they? Oh, some people have signed up already. <laughs> Man, what idiots would want to be in this thing? Let me see. Yosuke Hanamura. Me? Wait, and... Kanji Tatsumi? You're on here too! Hey! I didn't do anything wrong! Yeah, no, no, no! I didn't do anything wrong! I was on the side of not them going at. Uh, I was on your side! <sighs> Bunch of bitches. Wow, there's a lot of contestants. Didn't we only get like two people last year? I heard this year, even if someone else signs you up, you can't back out. Well, that's not cool. Hey, but what if you did. What if they did sign themselves up? Ew, what a disturbing thought. Seriously, that's really wrong. Someone else signs you up? It's them. They must have done this. But I, I was on the side of them not doing the pageant. Why would they put me in there as well? I didn't do anything wrong. Figures, women. They make you do they make you take accountability for something you were on their side for the whole time. Yeah. Now I'm angry. You better have a damn good explanation for this! For what? For what, my ass! For signing us all up on the cross-dressing pageant! It was you, wasn't it? Oh. That thing. Richie just started saying, let's all have fun with this, so I didn't really have a choice. And Kashiwaki seemed happy, too, now that there's more people involved in it. You little! This is cross-dressing! Cross-dressing! Well, you're the one who started it! It's because you 
It's because of you that we can't back out of the beauty pageant, so it serves you right! That's besides the point! Don't worry. We'll make you absolutely enchanting, okay? That's not what's important here! It's about a man's pride, damn it! I know, right? You heard him! This is absolutely out of the question! Yeah, yeah. This has nothing to do with pride or any of that. Uh, you know already, right? Once you sign up, you can't back out. If you got a problem with that, go talk to Miss Kashiwagi. Th there's no way she's gonna listen! What? Why are you giving up? I ain't doing this. Period! Kanji-kun, are you still okay as far as the mandatory attendance policy? I don't think it would be wise to disappoint a teacher too much. You're a scary gal, you know that, senpai. Just leave it to us to dress you guys up. Risei Chan with us too. There's no way you won't turn out pretty. You're positive we'll be pretty. I guarantee it. Huh? Hey, why are you suddenly fine with this? Well, if we gotta do this, might as well go all the way with it. There's nothing manly about being a woman. I seriously refuse. Kachiwaki's sure gonna be angry if you don't show up. Maybe you and Kanji can be classmates next year. Why is this happening? Uh, I didn't even do anything wrong. It was on their side. Man, if there was a breakup option, I would do it here. Honestly. We all end up in the same boat without our consent. What kind of joke is this? Yeah, I suppose since I was against the whole thing for the girls to be competing in this in the first place. So this stings even more. Uh, the exact same joke you pulled on us? I had nothing to do with it! If we gotta do this, might as well go all the way with it. <laughs> Fuck you. I didn't do anything wrong. I seriously was on their side from the beginning. And they fucking throw me in this shit? Yeah, seriously. Fuck the girls. Eh? Oh no, it's happening. Culture festival time. Well, we can't do anything else at this point. Let's see. Gen 27? Why does it keep refreshing so much? See, like, I, th there's no reason for this whole thing to just keep refreshing like this over and over. It's doing it like an automatic, and I can't stop it for some reason. I just want to have it on the days where I'm doing this whole thing. How far down are we? Jesus, I just want to go back to October. Alright, here we are. Sleep, storyline, any options, test results, ward, eight, sleep in your room. It's, this is today. Alright, this is today, so let's go. Sure sucks to be us now, doesn't it? <clears throat> Even though I didn't do anything wrong. Yeah, that's my fate for me always. Because life always seems to kick me in the balls, even though, even though I was on the their side to begin with. Of course no one's gonna stop by! C come on in for a first chance experience with group dating. That feels bad for her. Oh, this is so embarrassing. There's not that many people passing by here in the first place. I think we need some shills to drum up interest. Shills? Uh, who? Who else is here besides us? Isn't that kind of sad? Do we have a choice? We need customers to get the ball rolling. If there aren't many people passing by, we have to get the attention of, one of the ones who are by any means necessary. But there's only five of us here. Yo, how's it going? I came to check up on you... Guys? Perfect timing! 
But now we got four guys and two girls. Eh, you guys are cross-dressing tomorrow anyways. One of you can sit on the girl side. What? I'm not gonna... Uh... Yeah, I might as well go all in in this. Fuck it. <clears throat> Hello, everyone. Oh, you're volunteering? You never run out of surprises, man. Well, let's get started. Uh, you guys can start now. Will someone please start? The silence is heavy. Should you try asking a question as if you were a girl? Uh, what kind of girl do you like? Man, he's really getting into this. Actually, what the hell is this? A uh, mock group date? Um, should I lead off? I, I guess I'd like a cute girl. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> well, for me, um, I guess it's... I guess a girl that's kind of sort of fragile, you know? Someone I'd want to protect. Uh, man. This is, um... Yeah. Hey, your turn, Kanji. Uh, well, I, I, I guess someone who's kind of mysterious, but also looks strong. But, but it's actually kind of. Yeah, I really wonder who you're talking about. Uh, uh, okay. Out of the three of us here, who, who would you date? Hey, I object to this line of questioning. No, oh, don't worry. It's all right. Let's start with you, Chie-san. Huh? Wait, um, uh, 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 well, you feel like she is looking at you. Could she be signaling for you to help her? Uh, ask you the same question. M me? Uh, um, who would I choose today? Well, th that's private. Isn't it? Don't worry, they- it's- I got your back, even though you really signed me up for that stupid shit. Okay, your turn. Who would you want to date? Yosuke. Okay, we get it! You're good at roleplay! Now quit it! You're creeping me out! There's many forms of love. Didn't you tell me something like that? No! Not at all! Well, I admit I'm pretty dependable and decent looking, right? Yosuke's proud for some reason. <laughs> he acts like he doesn't like that type of stuff, but I think he secretly does. <sighs> the silence is heavy. Senpai, how are you do- uh, 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 uh. Well, well, see ya! <laughs> She's running! She's literally running! Market, the group date cafe is officially a failure. Your fault. Your freaking fault, man. Like, it seriously was your fault to begin with. We didn't even want to do this. <clears throat> wow. This class is ex... This class is exhibiting a collection of local artifacts. I wish ours was doing something cool, or this cool. We're doing a freaking play, man? What's up with that? It's too late to complain, Piglet. It's not Piglet, it's Hamlet. How'd I get stuck with that role anyway? And who the hell came up with this play? Romeo and Juliet and Hamlet? Dude. <laughs> Chill out, dude. Tomorrow's gonna be way more exciting, right you? For sure. I'm gonna be rooting for you in that beauty contest. Remember, first place or bust. I mean, I guess. Like, I mean, I guess. Why am I with I suddenly? The long-nosed fortune teller. Oh, come on. Who would believe crap like this? Hey, that sounds like e Igor, but it can't be, right? 
<laughs> You're a confident one. Ha! <laughs> Maybe you are pretty good. You want to challenge me? I bet you can't win. Overestimating your competence will only work against you, miss. Hmm, I'll take that as your acceptance. I challenge you to read one fortune, no time limit. If I win, which I will, I'm going to destroy the stand. The subject of this little contest is use relationship with girls. <laughs> if that's the case, I certainly have the advantage. What does that mean? No, don't do it! Why is this happening to me? So you're home. Yeah, you know, culture festival, blah blah, all that crap. You got anything for me, don't you, Ma? Hey, you. I heard you did well in the last exam. Great job. While taking care of Nanako, too, huh? I need to act like an uncle every so often and give you some spending money. I don't spend it all in... Nah, you can spend it however you like. Eh, it depends on where I want to spend it. I'm going tomorrow. I'll bring Dad along. Okay. Good lord. Uh, here we go. It's culture Festival Day 2. Storyline, any options? VA redone, star rank 8, new animate spring. Uh, I don't like the looks of this. This is going to be a very heavy episode for lore, isn't it? Early story. <clears throat> Why are you guys just standing there? Come on, hurry up and sit down. Come on, Kanji-kun, over here. <sighs> Let's get this over with. If I'm going for it, might as well go for first. Don't worry, I won't hurt you. A cross-dressing pageant will begin soon. It looks like you'll have to give up and let you go make put makeup on you. Well, it's not that bad, right? Doesn't make me any less of a man. What about me? It turns out I'm entering this too. I must win this contest to see my dream realized. He seems bored, so we signed him up as last mini con uh, contestant. So you're making him suffer too, huh? Well, if he's if he's been signed up, there's nothing we can do about it. Now, Takun, can you lend us a hand? We'll leave Teddy to you. M me? The Naoto Teddy team's unstoppable. Well then, um. First, I need some dazzling makeup. Uh, y you're right. Then I'll go borrow some a makeup kit for someone. Wait, the battle begins by choosing the right equipment. Uh, oh, we gotta use fake eyelashes, right? <clears throat> yeah, bring it on. Like, if we're gonna do this, we're gonna go full ham on this. <laughs> So it begins. Ladies and gentlemen, we now begin the second day of the culture festival with the ever popular Miss Yamo God. Sorry, pfft, Miss Yamo. Yamo. Yamo? God damn it, man. And what the hell's with those glasses and wig? What the fuck is that, man? The Miss Yasogami pageant. Let's get right down to it and introduce our first contestant. She's a runaway express train who's eaten a born and bred and can kill you with both her fists and her looks! Presenting Kanji-kun of the first year, class 3! <laughs> Sup? Gah! Ew, that's so creepy! This is wrong on every level. Now, don't rip me apart for asking, but what would you say is your best feature? My eyes? <laughs> Whoa, a conventional answer from this all too unconventional beauty! After such a strong start, I don't know how much of a chance the others have, but here's our second contestant! An eloquent heiress of the noble Juness. She's pure disappointment from the moment she opens her eyes! Wait. Let's start that again. An eloquent heiress of the noble Juness. She's pure disappointment from the moment she opens her mouth. 
presenting Yosuke Chan, Yosuke Chan of the second year class two. Uh, hi. Holy crap! Here, I thought Yosuke Senpai would be would be able to pull it off. Dude, it's terrifying. I could just imagine someone like him sitting across from me on the train. Now, you look ready to win in that outfit. Do you dress like this often? HELL NO! Uh, <clears throat> like, no way. What's up with this? We're laughing stocks up here. What did you think this was about? I've already had enough of this. But there's still more to come. Up next, our third contestant. She has the mildly bitter tang of the city. And she's made more girls cry than there are stars in the sky. Presenting our transfer student who's been breaking hearts in the second year. Class 2, Yu Chan! <laughs> N no more! S Senpai, why are you doing this? Whoa, I thought he was cooler than that. Sounds like your entrance is causing quite a stir. Did you sign yourself up? Damn straight! Yeah. Wow, he's more gung-ho about this than Kanji. Damn that Kashiwagi. How dare she tear away our innocence like this? Now I'm scarred for life, damn it. Our last contestant is a random un unaffiliated errant. She's a friend of, uh, of our other beauties, calling herself king of the TV world. She's cute. She's a cute, sexy little number! Give a warm welcome to Tenny Chan! <laughs> Give me your heart! Huh? That's a boy? He's so cute! I'd hit it! <laughs> I'd hit it! You realize he's a guy, right? And the winner of this year's Miss Yasogami pageant is the random contestant who won everyone's hearts, Miss Teddy! As our champion, Miss Teddy will receive a very special prize. Later this afternoon, we will begin we will be hosting the Miss Yasogami pageant with actual beauties this time. Your reward is a position as an honorary judge in that pageant. Woohoo! An honorary judge? That's one lame prize you for what you gotta go through. Not everyone can get that excited over a judge position. Seeing him so happy kind of makes me happy too. Yeah, he's he's like over the top innocent. Well then, Miss Teddy, how does it feel to have won the pageant and become a judge? Hmm, hmm, hmm. The long awaited day has finally come. I decree that one of the judging criteria later this afternoon will be... Ta-da! A swimsuit competition! <laughs> what the hell?! Over my dead body! Aw, I didn't bring a swimsuit. That bear needs to, di needs to be disappeared. Well, I doubt he has the authority to declare that unilaterally. <laughs> this is great. I love the direction this is going. You change back into your uniform and return to the hall. Obtain drag costume. Later that day, in the beauty pageant dressing room. Dress yourselves up as well as you can, you little brats. What is she, the rival woman on a soap opera? Wait, is this Kashiwagi- is Kashiwagi serious about winning this? <clears throat> Miss Teddy dro Mr. Teddy dropped this off. He said that they're swimsuits. Hey, we don't need them! <laughs> My mature charms will win the day. I brought my own swimsuit, of course. I brought my own, too. What's with these people? Hey, l let's not do this. What's that? Getting cold feet? Why well, ask you to back out of a fight you can't win? You call yourself an idol, but you're just jail bait with no brains, no guts, and especially no figure. 
What? There's no way an air type would be crowned Miss Inaba. Why not just let them back out? Oh, and I suppose you think you're gonna take a crown, you little snoring pig? Snoring? What are you talking about? Your face is as foul as your mouth and your brains as rotten to boot. We went through hell because of you! That's it! Now I'm pissed! Oh? You're going to challenge me? It's useless. Don't waste your energy. Let this be a warning to the others, too. You're going to lose. Now's your last chance to run away. R run away? Why the hell would we run for someone like you? Well, we did kind of run away last time. That's what I'm saying! We gotta stand our ground and get revenge for that! How can we cower and hide when they're picking a fight? Y yeah. Right, Risei-chan? Nadokun? We won't run from this, right? Huh? Me too? Why are you letting yourselves be so easily provoked? D -d 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 There's no way! Absolutely no way that I'm wearing a swimsuit. You're not going anywhere! I'm gonna rip the clothes off you, damn it! Uh-oh. But that's not all for the Culture Festival's main event. There's still more to come in this Miss Yasogami pageant! The judging continues. Can you hear the crowd going wild? How much time do we have? Oh wow, we really went down on time here. Now, for our next contestant, Ms. Chie Satanaka of the second year's Class 2. Coming out, Chie! H Hi, I'm Chie Satanaka. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, um, I'm kind of shy and reserved, and my favorite food is pudding. That liar! It's steak! Thank you very much. Up next, another contestant from Class 2, Ms. Yukiko Agami. Amagi! What the fuck? Did I just butcher her last name even though I knew how it was pronounced? What the fuck? H Hello, my name is Yukiko Amagi. Um, my family runs the Yamagi Inn. If you ever find yourself in the area, please give us a visit. Oh god, I hate my voice right now. <clears throat> Our hot springs are open to the public year-round, so whenever you're in the mood to enjoy them, please drop by. Alright, that'll do nicely. Next up, a very familiar face from the first year, Class 2, Ms. Rise Kujikawa! Hi, my name's Rise Kujikawa! I haven't been in town very long, but it's a great place and I'm 100% thrilled to be here! So sorry that I'm not working as an idol right now. Rise's gonna do her best, so I hope you all cheer for me! The real reset, ladies and gentlemen, in the flesh! Thank you very much! <clears throat> Next is the mysterious transfer student of the first year's Class 1, Ms. Naoto Shiragane! Hey, Kanji, here she comes! Hey, shh! Pipe down! Uh, I'm Naoto Shiragane. It's hard to believe I'm up on this stage at a pageant like this. This is beyond my wildest imaginings. I... I really don't know what to say. Can... Can I step back now? Whoa! whoa. And with that, all six uniquely beautiful contestants are on stage! Now, let's have our special judge, Mr. Teddy, ask them some questions! Ahem! I am Teddy, the honorary judge for this pageant. Please keep in mind that if you anger me, you will be at a disadvantage. Well, Miss Chie, do you have a boyfriend? What? T Teddy, you... Ms. Yukiko, have you ever smooched anyone before? Huh? St stop it! Ms. Naoto, where are you ticklish? I beg your pardon? Can I stay at your house next time? Risei-chan! What kind of question is that? 
Anyways, I have a surprise announcement for you all. Wait to hear this for the first time ever. This year's pageant will feature a swimsuit competition. That's all thanks to Mr. Teddy here. We'll take a brief break while our contestants put on their swimsuits and be back in just a few minutes. I feel like I'm stressing my voice way too much for this. <clears throat> oh, good lord, the rolls on her. Holy shit. Ha 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 ha. Hi. <clears throat> Ooh. You sound like a dirty old man. <clears throat> Chia Senpai is cute, though. Oh, God, I hate my voice right now. Give me a sec to drink. Oh, oh, I hate this. My voice is already exhausted from this. Uh, I'm sorry. <clears throat> sorry for what? This is great. Wow, Yukiko Senpai. She's exactly how I imagined she'd be. Wait, you've imagined that? Well, I mean, I guess you guys are childhood friends. Yoo-hoo! Riz here's Rizette! Of course, she'd be the most comfortable in this. She's so gorgeous! Huh? <clears throat> God damn it. Huh? Ms. Naoto? She's not coming out! Well, sad news, everyone, but Ms. Naoto won't be coming out for this portion. Fine by me. The fewer rivals I have to crush, the better. Oh, well, I had a feeling that would happen. Too bad, Kanji. Huh? No, um... Well, yeah. But don't you think it was brave of her to at least show up in the first round? Yeah, you're right. Well, it's about time we voted. Who are you going to vote for? Well, I think the answer is obvious, the one I'm dating, duh. Yeah, she is pretty cute when you really look at her. I swear, you're such an idiot. <clears throat> Thanks for waiting, everyone. The results are in. Looking at the way the vote went, you guys... You guys out in the audience had a hard time picking a favorite. Lots of different opinions, with every one of the contestants having their own enthusiastic supporters. On the other hand, it looks like you girls were all thinking the same thing, and so the clear winner... And so there's a clear winner! <clears throat> Grand prize goes to... Miss Naoto Shiragane! Her androgynous charms seem to have won the most of the girls' hearts. We'd like to present Miss Naoto with her award now, but it looks like she stepped outside. She won, even though she dropped out of the last part. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Man, losing to Naoto. Well, I guess I didn't appeal to the girls that much. Oh, well. I think it's enough that we beat those two hands down, senpai. I... How could I lose a beauty pageant? <laughs> <laughs> Miss Kashiwagi! I... I can't believe this! Neither can I! Oh, Hanako! Miss Kashiwagi! The Miss Yasukami High pageant has come to an end. Ugh, I hate these voices. I don't know what to win with the voices in the end. I only play myself here. Oh! Big bro! <clears throat> ah, good thing we found you. I've got to make a business trip to the prefectural office and I won't be back until tomorrow. Shame it had to fall during your school's culture festival. Nanako and I were both looking forward to it. Sorry to dump this on you, but could you show Nanako around? Would you like to walk around with us, Nanako-chan? Can I? Yeah, definitely. Thanks. Then I'm gonna get going. <clears throat> Have a safe trip. Yeah. You have fun too, Nanako. Okay, Dad. God, I hate this. If my voice seems a little off right now. It's because I've been doing the two parts back to back. It's just not good for my voice. 
Hey, Donico-chan, why don't you come over and stay at my place tonight? Huh? 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 What did you just say, Yuki-chan? Ooh, is celebration at your inn? Is that okay with you? Uh-huh. I promised you guys a while ago, so yeah. Hell yeah, I'm down for this! Can I boil eggs in the hot spring? Oh, I should call my grandpa and let him know. It's just one night, right? Come on, it'll be fun. Everyone will be there. Can I? Um... I mean, you can if you want. I mean, I, I'd definitely do it. Uh, hot springs, hot springs. Let's go. I want to spend the night. Wee, hot springs. You got to flush skins. Are you sure it's okay? I mean, it is. Isn't it still the busy season? We had a few visitors this year. There's some. There are some open rooms too. Oh, okay, might as well then. Man, when was the last time I stayed at Yukiko's place? I hate... My voice is just so bad right now. <clears throat> a room at the Imagi Inn. Aw, we're in different rooms. Well, duh. It's one thing if they were next door, but they're so far away. Yukiko said there weren't many there weren't that many rooms, so they they're lined up on another floor. First thing they're gonna do is take Nanako chan to the hot springs. I is it one of those girls and guys go together springs? I don't wanna take more than one bath if I don't have to. When do we take a dip before we hit the sack? Yeah. <clears throat> By the way, sup with this room. It looks pretty expensive. Oh, you thought so too? Normally a room like this wouldn't be open during the se during the busy season. I was trying not to think about it, but you don't think something happened here, do you? Senpai, what are you all crying about? Now that you've mentioned it... Oh shit! Jeez, that freaked me out! Y you answer it, Kanji! What are you freaking out for? Kanji's hands are shaking. Hello? Ah, uh, I see. Cool, thanks. That was the front desk. Said the hot spring should be pretty empty right now. Wow, Amagi and great service. I broke out in a cold sweat. Well, come on, then. Let's go wash it off. I can't wait to take a bath with everyone. We'll all face the same way and wash each other's backs. And we're going to sing songs when we look at Mount Fuji, right? <laughs> uh, I can't wait either. Man, everyone on this side is so fun. It's all thanks to you for bringing people over to my side. Thank you, Sensei. Ah! Ooh! That's good! Yeah! <clears throat> Summer recarm. Come on! The elevator's here! Oh! Oh wow! This place is so huge! Wow, I can see the stars. Huh? Where's Naoto-kun? There you are. Jeez, no point in being embarrassed now. W wait, Risei-san! Come on, just get inside. Jeez. Oh, I see. So the truth comes out now, huh? What's gotten into you all? <clears throat> Come on.
Come on over here. There's plenty of room. Huh? Uh, oh. Uh, okay. Wow, Naoto, your skin looks so soft. Can I touch? Can I touch? Huh? Uh, um. Wow, it really is smooth. You're so lucky. You have such fair skin and silky hair. No unneeded body fat either. Hey, where are you touching? <clears throat> Nanako-chan. Um, uh, are you okay with staying over at someone else's place like this? Aren't you scared? No, it's lots of fun. At home, I'm always alone until Big Bro comes back. Oh, I, I see. But I'm good at staying home alone. I always do what Dad tells me, like not opening the door for strangers. Wow, I bet he's so proud for you. <clears throat> hey, Nanako-chan. Do you want to swim around? Can I? I've been swimming here since I was young. Do you still do it? Huh? Um... Why are you hesitating? <laughs> Come on, let's race over to the other side. Whoever loses owes everyone a fruit milk. I want lemon soda. Uh, what? Me too. Check out my dead man's float. <laughs> she's acting like she's dead. Wow, you're good. Ooh, what a giant spring. I'll show you all my teddy paddling. Oh shit! Ow! What the huh? You, you, you guys! Why are you guys here? Th that's my line! Wait a minute! What the hell? Stop! What's going on? I thought this said it was okay for us to enter! You mustered up your courage and held your ground! But when you think about it, does courage even matter in a situation like this? You give the order to retreat. Retreat! It's an honest mistake! We're not gonna forget this! How the hell was that wrong? The far death told us we could go in. What the fuck? We'll have to punish them later. Wow, you got him good! My aim, my aim's pretty deadly, huh? I wonder if they caught a glimpse. Oh! It's actually the guy's turn to use the springs now. I got the times mixed up. <laughs> Are you serious? Ah, crap. I think we went too far with them. Uh, what should we do? Oh, it'll be fine as long as we keep quiet about it. This'll be... This'll just be between us girls. Do you want to race again, Nanako-chan? Wow. Wow. Oh, that was... Pretty mean. Damn it! I checked again, and sure enough, the hot spring's supposed to be for men at that hour! They're so evil! Evil, I tell you! <laughs> I don't know why, but my head's all bumpy. Those are lumps from the pail whacking you in the head. You got lumps, man. <laughs> <sighs> hey, guys. Did you, uh, see anything? No. None whatsoever. Damn it! I let a curse life! L let's just go to bed. Hold it, senpai. Do you hear something? <laughs> what the fuck? What, what was that? I heard it too! D don't tell me. Is there one here? One here? W one what? Dude, what are you talking about? <laughs> this room. It's the one that announcer was staying in before she died. My mom was talking about it. Oh god, you said it! I was trying to block it out, but you had to go and say it! So, so, why is there talismans here, Yukiko? The witch tempted us here knowing full well. Damn it! 
First the hot springs and now this. We've been completely suckered! <laughs> oh crap! There's no way I'm sleeping through this. Uh, uh I've made up my mind. I'm going to Yuki chan's room. I can't sleep soundly unless I'm watching everyone's faces as I drift off. What? Sleepy faces? Are you gonna sneak into the room? You can't be. <sighs> hey, what should we do? Uh, let's go. Damn, that was fast. Dude, seriously, I can't stay here. Alrighty, it'll be a surprise awakening for them. It turns out you're going to be sneaking to the girls' room. Well, I don't want to stick around with that voice, whatever the fuck that was. I'm not gonna. Good morning. Oh, wrong voice. And you have to have the the, the in the in the bear costume now. <clears throat> Good morning, everyone. It's a surprise awakening. No, a surprise break in. This is Teddy reporting in. When did you put that on? I feel awkward without it, so I always bring it. Stop talking like that. Oh, check it out, a hairbrush. And it's got long strands of hair on it. You're really into this, aren't you? Damn straight, it's time I got revenge for the camp out. Huh, good point. Alright, I'll get my revenge too. A t toothbrush Holy crap, my heart's pounding. What about Nanako chan? Don't worry, Nanako chan is a magnanimous girl. <clears throat> Nanako chan is a magnanimous girl. Well, if that's true. But try not to wake her up. She's not part of our revenge scheme. Ooh, I finally reached the futons. They're fast asleep. Excuse me. Yuki chan, I'm scared of the ghosts. Uh, all right, I could do this too. T time to prove I'm a man. Jason, by be gentle. Huh? One, two. Wait, where's the rest of the futons? Huh? <laughs> What's going on? Sheesh. Oh my! So that's how you guys are. Ah, uh, you should have said so. Hmm, such naughty boys. D uh, uh, be gone! Holy crap! D d don't touch me! We were crying our poor eyes out until now, you know. We thought there were no men who appreciated our beauty. Alright, boys. I'm all yours. And not a word about this to anyone. Come here, tiger. <laughs> You've seen things no student should see. You decided to give up and go back to your room to sleep. Ah, this feels great. I love, 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 love being able to take a bath anytime I want. How's Nanako-chan? Fast asleep. Hey, did you know Miss Kashiwagi and Hanako-san were staying in the room next to ours? Those two... Those two seem to get along really well. I'm surprised. They come to stay here now and again. Usually they come to cry when something breaks their hearts. Hmm, I guess they were really devastated from losing to Naoto-kun. please don't bring that up again. Well, they do make a good team. <clears throat> oh, come on, you guys. You're so mean. Come on, let's just get to the next part. It, this is so long. I came back for the Amagi, and you have the day off because to because the culture festival was on Sunday. Without any clues, all you could do now is progress. All you could do now is wait for the incident to progress. What should you do today? Well, as long as they let me save, I should be able to end this episode off. Eh, another stupid call. It's from Yosuke. Thank goodness, I knew I could count on you to pick up. You're free today, right? Can you give me a hand here? I'm begging you. 
Yosuke sounds very flustered. The Halloween fair starts today at Juness. We're nowhere near ready! We have the decorations, but I can't find the floor manager, and I have no idea who to ask for help. You're the only one I can think of. Please, I'm begging you! <sighs> Lucky I just saved after this, but I'm gonna end it off here. I'll bring it back to this part next time I re power on the console. So, until next time, everyone, have a very raspberry day.